Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 bam, 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 review stuff. And I am back for another video. And this is a video that I actually hadn't planned on doing today. I was going to uh, review the Biscoff ice cream bars that I tried the other night. I may do that video tomorrow because I have lots to say about it. Um, so this is kind of a spur of the moment video. <laughs> of something that I tried last night for the first time and I really didn't expect to do a review of this. I, when I got it in the mail, I didn't think about doing a review of it. I just was like, please work, please work. So let me tell you uh, the background story to this before I get into this. Um, if you watch my vlog, you might know that I have been having a very, very difficult time sleeping. Um, I just, I can't sleep to save my life. And this has now been going on for several weeks. Um, I kind of think it might be partly due to uh, the new epilepsy medicine that I'm on. Um, I've read several forums where people are having similar issues and things like that. I don't really know. I don't know why I cannot sleep. But needless to say, even when I'm very exhausted, and a lot of people have asked, well, Peter, you take naps. But even on days where I'm not taking any naps and I've been up for like 18 hours, I still cannot fall asleep, okay? Even when I'm like so exhausted and so tired and people have said, well, Peter, or maybe you're too tired. Sometimes when you're too tired, you can't fall asleep. Okay, I'm talking about two and three days in a row with no nap, 18 hour days, and I still cannot fall asleep, right? And then I'm getting like maybe four or five hours of sleep. I'm like really, really struggling, okay? I mean, you talk about riding the struggle bus. Like I am riding the struggle bus when it comes to sleep. And I mean, yesterday it was so bad. I was like almost crying on the phone to my friend Tanya. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I'm really worried. I'm not getting any more sleep, you know? And she was like, well, I've had periods of like of that in my life as well. And it's really it's really frustrating. Recently, I went to my primary care physician and I told him that. And um, he put me on the lowest dose possible of trazodone, which is um, a non-habit for me. That's what he told me. Um, a lot of people are telling me now that it has withdrawal symptoms and stuff. I've only taken it twice and I haven't experienced that. So I don't know. But it is something that we used to use or the nurses and doctors used to prescribe to the patients when I worked in treatment because it is a safe drug for addicts and alcoholics in recovery. Um, and so it's a sleep aid. And and like I can't take anything like Ambium or Lunesta or I mean, I'd never take anything like that or Valium or any of those kinds of things to fall asleep, right? So I was very worried about trying anything anyway, but I needed something. Well, I took it the first day and it actually did the opposite to me, which is sometimes because it's been so long since I've like really used anything until recently when I had pancreatitis, um, that like sometimes like if I take like allergy medicine or whatever, like it does like the opposite to me and I don't take allergy medicine that makes you tired or anything like that. So, um, Often like, and like caffeine sometimes makes me tired, you know, and people are like, well, is it because you're ADHD? And, you know, so it's like sometimes things do the opposite effect for me. Well, I took this um, tr trazodone the other night and it did the absolute opposite effect on me. I was like literally up for hours on end, like once I took it. The next night I was so, so tired and I took it and it again did the opposite for me and kept me up for hours on end. Um, before that, I have been taking um, or drinking Sleepy Time Tea, which is seems to be the only thing that really works for me. And then I bought on Amazon um, two herbal supplements that had one that had melatonin in it and the other one that had magnesium and valerian root. The one that has magnesium and valerian root seems to work sometimes Sometimes and not others, but there's no consistency with it, right? Melatonin never, doesn't really work on me at all. So, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are going to be like, well, it's because of this, or it's because of that, or because of this. Because a, lot, a lot of people on my vlog are like, well, trazodone's worked great for me for years. Other people are like, trazodone's never worked for me. I'm just sharing my experience, okay? In my experiences, nothing is helping me fall asleep. I'm really, really struggling. <laughs> so, the other night on my vlog, I was talking about it, and somebody commented and talked about how they had bought this pillow spray that basically had like lavender and chamomile. Now, I'm real into the new agey kind of deals, okay? I'm real into anything that's like herbal supplements and things like that to try to help because I, like I said, I don't take drugs, you know? So, I'm willing to do anything that's like a pillow spray or, you know, like anything like that, right? So, I, um, uh, somebody commented and said that they use this pillow spray and that it really, really helps them. They fall asleep deeply, like really quick. Now, I don't, I didn't know which one, because I think they put like the brand, but like I, when I looked it up, like maybe they misspelled it or something because I couldn't find it. So, um, 
I had remembered that like years ago, somewhere I bought like this little small bottle of like lavender spray for your pillow and it did help me fall asleep, but it really like calmed me down and whatever, right? And so I got on Amazon and I bought this product that is called This Works. Hold on, let me get my glasses on. This Works uh, 24 Hour Skin Solutions Deep Sleep Pillow Spray, okay? This is what the box looks like. This is what the bottle looks like when you get it. Here, let me hold both of these up for a little bit of a thumbnail. Hold on just a second. Okay, so deep sleep pillow spray. Fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. And then on the back of here, it says proven to work. 97% slept better. 89% fell asleep faster. 98% felt more refreshed in the morning. I don't know where the research studies are on this, but this is what it says. Super active lavender oil, which... There are certain oils, like peppermint oil, like as, as an epileptic that you have to be kind of careful of. So I was kind of apprehensive about that. Um, it says, clean. We use only 100% fragrances and 100% pure essential oils. Our products are firm. And it goes on and talks about all this, okay? So then when it says, uh, it says like different cautions on here, the ages and things like that. Okay. With sleep comes beauty. This works, this works delivers clean, targeted skin solutions that work in harm. So they must have other products. When to use. Use at bedtime to help fall asleep more quickly and improve sleep quality. How? Expertly blended with essential oils of lavender, vetiver, and... Uh, am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. And uh, wild chamomile. Why? Wake up looking and feeling refreshed. The best beauty secret there is. Directions. Spray your pillow or bed cover before you go to sleep. Use to promote rest and relaxation. So, I got this bottle out. Now, I will tell you, this was very expensive. This was like, I don't know if you can see it on here, but it's like it has that all... The, what's on the box is printed on the bottle, okay? It's a nice little plastic bottle, and it is 2.5 fluid ounces. So, and this is what it, when you spray it, it goes like that. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I will tell you, it was expensive, okay? It was $30, but like I said, I am in desperate need to try anything, so I was willing to try this. Now, I was very careful about little Boo Radley. Boo Radley was sleeping on the other side of his dad when I sprayed my pillow, and I sprayed the cover, the, the first part of my comforter. I sprayed the pillow four times and the comforter twice. Last night, I laid down at 10.30, okay? And my plan was to get up and maybe watch some TV shows. <clears throat> but I was like, I have to take a nap or something. So I laid down at 10.30, okay? I sprayed that on there, and I, the last thing I remember is saying to... Now, it usually takes me, I mean to tell you guys, two and a half, three hours to fall asleep, okay? Even when I wasn't having sleep problems, it took me a good 45 minutes to an hour to fall asleep. My mind just spins and spins and spins, right? So I was laying there in bed, and I could just... It smelled so good, and um, and I can smell it right now, and it smells so good. And I remember turning to Alex, because he went to bed at the same time I did, and I said to him, I said, Oh my God, this is so relaxing. That's the last thing that I remember. <laughs> okay, then and I don't know if it was because I was so tired from days on end or whatever But I mean to tell you I never it doesn't matter how tired I am. I never fall asleep this quickly Okay, I mean I literally was out and the next thing I knew I woke up and it was 2 30 in the morning And I looked at the clock and I was like, oh my god, it's like 2 30 It's been four hours like and I was out like I was deep deep asleep, right? And and I so I woke up at 2 30 and I was like I wanted to watch The Lincoln Lawyer, and I wanted to, the, I have three and a half episodes left, and I wanted to watch Cruel Summer, the newest episode, because my husband watched it yesterday, and so I was like, okay, I'm going to get up and watch TV shows, and I was like, no, you need a good night's sleep, okay, so you need to go to sleep, so I rolled over, I was like, roll over and go back to sleep, so I rolled over, I went back to sleep, and again, I fell right back asleep, I mean, like, immediately fell right back asleep, right? This never happened, you guys. The only thing different that I did, I didn't drink Sleepy Time tea last night, I didn't take the herbal supplement, I didn't take the Trazodone, none of that, because I was just going to take a nap, right? Or just rest my head for an hour. The only thing different that I did was spray this on my pillow. That was the only thing different that I did, okay? So, and, and, unless it was because I was so exhausted and so tired. So I'm going to try it again tonight, and we're going to hope and pray that it works. I woke up this morning, my husband gets, he had to get up for work at like 6.30. I woke up like right around the same time that he was get, well he was still a little bit sleeping. So I got up about 15, 20 minutes before he did and I came out here and I was like, oh my God, like I am so rested. Like I feel so good. I could not believe it. And I, and, you know, I have to tell you, the only thing different that I did was this stupid spray. 
you know? So I don't know, like, if this deep sleep pillow spray, maybe I'm part of those percentages that where it really works for me. But I'm gonna link it below so you guys can go find it on Amazon if you want to. I will tell you, like I said, it's expensive. It's like $30, but I, at this point, I was like, I'm willing to pay whatever, you know? Uh, I'm willing to pay whatever for something to work because I need something different to happen because I can't continue not to sleep. I'm gonna try it for the next couple nights and I will report back and let you guys know if it is one of the things that really works for me because um, I'll know after a couple nights sleep if I continue to, to use it. But like, like I said, it's the only thing that I did differently. And I fell asleep like immediately. Like that never happens. Even before I had sleep problems, that never happened. So I have to believe it's the spray. So I just wanted to get on here and do a review of it and tell you guys that I am so impressed with this spray. It smells fantastic. Even if it doesn't work at all, it smells fantastic. But I've never in my life, even as a kid, I never fell asleep that quickly. Like I've always like my husband, my ex, my, my ex before him, they, they would fall asleep. Like my husband... He hits pillow, or his head hits the pillow, and like before, when he's got his phone plugged in, he is out like that second. My Both of my exes were the same way. And I would just lay there and be so frustrated. I'd be like, why can't I fall asleep? I've never, ever, even before I had sleep problems, as a little kid, it always took me 45 minutes to an hour to fall asleep. But last night, I'm like out in minutes. So I don't know, it must be the spray. I can only think that. I know there's gonna be all these negative Nancy's in the comment section that are gonna be like, it's not the spray, it's not the spray. Well, I'm telling you, I believe in the spray. So anyway, if you've tried one of these, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.